Hey guys, we are back with another video and this is Everyday May. I am doing a video and we have to do our everyday makeup drawer. I didn't want it to get too far into the month where we didn't have this done. But in this video, I definitely want to make some decisions because you know I'm in a spring declutter and I've done blushes, I've done foundations, I've done bronzers. I still need to do concealers and powders and lip products and palettes and so and highlighters oh my god that's gonna be a hard one but anyway I do want to pull in some items as you can tell this is a little bit more organized just because I did uh, tidy up a bit before this video but I want to bring some things that I usually don't bring into my collection because I need to make some decisions on palettes on highlighters I am going to bring more than usual into this everyday um, everyday makeup drawer for the month of May and this one is going to be themed just decision time spring cleaning week or clean spring cleaning May okay or May flowers I don't know April showers bring May flowers I don't know <laughs> um I don't know what I'm gonna theme this just yet but this will probably be like palette palooza or something like that because we are going to bring quite a few palettes into our collection so let's just jump right in I am first going to talk about some of the things that I'm going to declutter I already know I'm decluttering these two this is Dose of Color Stone and Sand. I've had these for a while and Stone is one of my most, this is actually my favorite liquid lipstick of all time. I have learned that I am more of a classic lipstick girl and a lip gloss girl, but there are certain formulations of liquid lipsticks I love and Dose of Colors is it. But these are extremely old. I think these are about three or four years old. Way too old for me to have these lip products in here. So um, I'm going to declutter these. I'm also going to declutter this shade by Colored Rain. It's really pretty, but it's not a color that I gravitate towards. And I think I've only worn it once. So in terms of lip products, I either, you know, I do not... Uh, I don't put these on Poshmark or anything. So I'm just going to declutter that. Any other colors? I'm going to declutter this Makeup Forever lip gloss. It's really pretty, but it's old. Love my minted. That is my little pony. I really like that. That's another minted. It's mauve over. I really like those. Uh, um, I like this Makeup Forever. But I'm going to declutter this one too. I have not worn this one. I don't think at all. And it kind of reminds me of Slow Burn by Marc Jacobs. I like this shade a lot. It's one of my favorite. And it's a satin lip cream. So I'm going to declutter the Makeup Forever. I'll probably pass that on to my sister just because I haven't. I don't think I've ever used that. These Glam Glow masks I am going to put in my travel case just because I have tried this one. I need to compare this one to something I got from Ipsy, but I'm going to take these out. Let's see if the superhero is one of my favorite mascaras, but I think it's too old. Yeah, this one's too old. We're going to declutter clutter that one just because I love that mascara and it's all dried out. Let's see if I finish this knot sauce. I can probably finish that either tonight or tomorrow. Um, I really like this. I really like this. And they gave me a really nice amount for the sample. So, you know what? I'm going to keep it up top so I can finish it off and put it in my empties. This is the shade Taurus in the ColourPop. I really like the lippy sticks. And this is a really nice... Um, I'll check my lippy sticks, but this is a really nice shade for the fall. So um, I think I'm going to remove it just because this is not one of my spring shades. That's more a fall. I'm going through my lipsticks, y'all. Dark Night, this is a fall shade. 
pretty chocolate. I would not be wearing that in the spring. Let's see, this is another one. This is Foxy Brown. Nice fall winter shade. That is brand nude. I like that one. Pretty in pink, one of my favorite. Nude La La. Those can stay in here. I might end up rotating those. As a matter of fact, let's take out all the, the lip products and let's rotate some new ones in here. Otherwise, I will never... I will never use new products. I'll keep using my old ones or uh, using the same ones. I like that boss gloss. Boss gloss. Boss gloss. The only thing I'm going to keep in is my My Little Pony. This shade and maybe the gold shade. Just because these are pretty spring and summer shades. I love this Balance and Brighten by Laura Geller. I really like this. And this is a shade that I like. I want to give something else some love though. This is another, I like the NYX High Definition Finishing Power really, Powder. I really like that. But I want to give something else some love. This is a... Eyeshadow palette. Uh, let's keep that in there because I have not used that, and I, I actually, I'm gonna put that in my makeup bag. But I just want to let you guys know that it's gonna be in for everyday May. Take this out. Okay, so this is a really pretty finishing powder. I'm gonna keep this in here because it has a peach tint, but it's a beauty powder. Because I, I want to use up some some that I have. And then these are the Laura Geller I'm definitely going to keep. I need to make a decision on these uh, Black Radiance highlighters. And then I'm going to bring in some other highlighters. So I'm going to keep this one in. I'm going to take the Laura Geller out. I have some nail polishes. Those will stay in. This is a pigment by Micah Beauty. I am going to be doing a DIY on how to make the pigments, the, the pigment spray mix by Makeup Forever. Not Makeup Forever, I'm sorry, by MAC. Um, so yeah, I'm, I plan on doing that. So let's remove all of this stuff and I want to bring in a face powder. I need to bring in some bronzers. I want to bring in some more palettes that I want to test and actually review in May in the, since I'm doing everyday May. So actually I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this in my makeup, my makeup um, bag and let's bring in some, let's go ahead and bring in some powders. Okay. I'm going to bring in this Urban Decay because I like it but I want to get some more use out of this so I'm gonna bring this in I'm gonna bring in the Josie Marin this is a nice finishing powder that has some luminosity I don't know if you can see that it's supposed to give like some luminosity it's like a almost like a finishing powder so we'll put that over here and we'll also take this highlighter, put that over here. We'll put that powder there. Any more powders? I want to try. Let's use this foundation too. I have not used this or done a review on this. And this is the Tarte. This is the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation in Tan Sand. I want to try this. I have tried this before. I need to do a review on 
the old and the new. I have been promising that down. We'll put that in the back. I'm going to bring this in. This is the Laura Geller. What is this? This is her Universal Filter Finish Setting Powder. This is a setting powder. That's illuminating. So I am going to include the Patrick Star powder in there. Okay, this is a peach bronze. It says it's a, this is a bronzer blush. Okay, I definitely want to use this. I think this will be pretty for every day. Let's put Patrick up there. So that's not really a bronzer. That's more like a blush. But, oh, I know what I want to use. I want to use this Urban Decay Paranoid. It's a very warm. We'll use that. Let's pull in. We need a matte. Let's put in the Dark Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. I just wanted to smell it because it's chocolate. I'm going to bring in this Mild Little Pony. I don't know if you all can see that. This is in the shade. It doesn't say the highlighter. It just says highlighter. Pressed face powder. Powder. It doesn't say which. What's the name of it? But it's from the My Little Pony collab. Very pretty. It's like a peachy. It, now this is the one that it reminds me of the new Becca, the the tangerine or the mandarin, whichever one it just came out. That reminds me of it a lot. We'll put that in. I actually have a hand cream and a product veil. Let's put the, where's the hand cream? Put that over there. Let's do a highlighter. Okay, highlighters that I want to make decisions on are, are the ones that's going to go in here. Okay, Becca Champagne Pop. I have not used in ages. I need to decide if I want to keep that or not. So I'm going to put that in there. On your cash hook one. It's really pretty. Let's see if I'm still in love with it. I haven't used it in a while. But let's use that one. Okay. I have a pink a champagne, a peach, and then this one is a gold. I'm good. Oh, and I have the black radiance. I need to make a decision on that. Do I have another black radiance? Yes. Let's bring in the rose gold and the gold. Let's go into blushes. And y'all know I just did a blush declutter. And according to me, I did not do as well as I thought I was going to do. But... Let's bring in some that I don't typically use. Fervor and this is Fervor. It has a peach and a burgundy. Um, I'm going to bring in both of those. The Lorac and Prism. Those are blushes. Oh, you know what? Let's bring in the Kevin Aquan. Because that one has a bronzer, a sculptor. And I have not used that. And then maybe next month I can bring in the Becca. But that's the one from Kevin Kwan. I have not even used that. It reminds me a lot of um, Orgasm. Okay, so I have a faint pink. I have a peach. And a burgundy. This one. And let's bring in Feisty. By tart. I think we'll be good on blushes. Okay. Now let's bring in palettes, you guys. I do have a few of those because I need to make some decisions on palettes. Okay, so let's talk about some everyday palettes I do want to do some reviews on. Of course, I have my Lorac Pro that's going to go over here. And my NYX palette. That one I'll probably be using as under eye. I need to get some progress on those. Like I said, once I finish those, and I might not be using those as often, so I might end up skipping a month, but we're still going to put them in there. I do also want to try out this Koki. This one kind of reminds me of the shade of light palette. 
that's how that looks. It has a beautiful mirror. We will put that in there. Okay, I'll put this over here. And then let's go into some more palettes. I want to try this burgundy palette. Um, Bur the burgundy bar. I don't think that this is even out. I'm not sure. Also want to try the Narcissus Wanted palette. I got this around Christmas time, but oh, it looks so pretty. Okay. I'm going to put that in there. I need to make some decisions on these Makeup Forever palettes. And that one has a really pretty yellow. Let's see. Mm. And this one, really pretty. Those volume two and three from Makeup Forever. They were going to bring in some everyday palettes. Going to bring in Minted Palette. You'll see um, a tutorial on this where I use this palette. Gonna put that right here. And there's one more palette I want to include in here. So I need to do a review on it. And that is the Persona palette. Y'all, I'm so excited for this one. And you can tell that I've been swatching it. But I do want to do a review on this too. So those are, that's my makeup drawer, everyday makeup drawer. Oops. Let's do it this way. There you go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, forgot lip pack. Y'all, I got to bring some more lip stuff in here. And this, this is a collab. I do not know the name of the collaborator, but I'm going to put it in there because I want to test that. This is a lip gloss. That looks too fallish. Let's put in some lip glosses. I'm such a lip gloss girl during spring. Let's bring in the Grande Lips. This one plumps. It's a really pretty pink. Oop, this one from Lancome. Pretty lip gloss from Katy Perry. So I have a nude, a pink, a coral. A neutral. Okay. And I want to try this one from CoverGirl. Oh, and in terms of CoverGirl, I do want to try these liquid illuminators. Let me... Oh, I haven't done foundations yet, y'all. I do want to try these tinted moisturizers by first these these tinted moisturizers that I got from Gem Beauty from First Aid Beauty. This is a Vitalist Glow. I do want to try this. I think there's another one. From where is it from? CoverGirl. Oh, it's not in here. Okay, I'm gonna try this from CoverGirl. There you go. So that one's gonna go up here. Okay. Oh, one more blush from Hourglass. That is. Iridescent flash. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any more lipstick, lip glosses? Want to try? Well, this is a matte shaker in nude, nude devotion, and a everyday lip gloss from CoverGirl. Let's put a few lipsticks in there. This is Cream Sheen Ravishing. We'll put that in there. Now a good peach. Kind of sexy. 
the great every day. I need to like put that on the project pan anyway. I want to try these concealers by CoverGirl. These are the Vitalist Healthy, healthy. The Vital is healthy. I love the, um, I love the foundation. So I want to try the concealers, and we'll stick those right in there. Monsieur Big as my mascara. I'll put that up top, as well as my Princess Lash. Those are the only ones I want to have open. A few more lipsticks. A foundation. Uh, two or three foundations, and we'll be done. Oh, and then a yeah, that's what I meant to say. Let's see. I love this around this. I love pink plaid. So I need a pink lipstick. Sis is like that great like nude. I love sis. Peach stock. do for now. Okay, now on the foundations. Custom Drops by NYX. I want to try this BB Cream by Kula. And I want to test this one. Let's try, let's give one more that's like great for every day that I want to use up. And the Pro Glow, how about that? Okay, so these are my four foundations. Three of these I want to try once a week. And then this is the everyday one that I'm actually probably gonna put in the project pan and I'll stick these back up here. They'll be right in the front. This primer, I need to make some decisions. Uh -oh. I need to do something real quick. Uh, this one by Urban Decay. I need to make a decision on that. Okay. This is the end result of everything in here. I'll be testing. Let me know what you guys want to see a review on first. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Sorry for it being so long, you guys. Bye.